The Thursday morning prayer, give us this day. This day is all I ask for, O Lord. Give me the strength for the hours as they come, one by one. For my sustenance, let me ask for that only which I need, thy will to fulfill. Let me have enough of the spiritual and the material so that I may help all who knock at my door and send none empty away. Show me how to share the blessings of this day with my neighbor. Teach me to fear neither the good nor the bad, to bravely live them both to the full through both working out thy will. Let no lack of generosity hamper my actions. Let my heart never be so small that it not, cannot love and forgive. Let me have humility truly to rejoice over every minute and what it brings. I know full well how undeserving I am. Yet let me seize every opportunity to turn every hour to thy glory. Walk with me this day as thou didst with Luke and Cleopas to Emmaus. Let thine angel guide me and show me what thy demand of me is for this day. Amen. <clears throat> Treasury of blessings and giver of life, come and abide in us and cleanse us from every impurity and save our souls of good one. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Holy God, holy mighty, holy immortal, have mercy on us. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto ages of ages. Amen. O most holy Trinity, have mercy on us, Lord, cleanse us from our sins, Master, pardon our transgressions. Holy One, visit and heal our infirmities for thy name's sake. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Through the Christ, our Holy Master, Lord Jesus Christ, our God, have mercy on us and save us. Amen. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to men. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to men. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. O Lord, why do they increase to afflict me? Many rise up against me. Many are they who say to my soul, there is no salvation for him and his God. But you, O Lord, are my helper, my glory, and the one who lifts up my head. With my voice I cried to the Lord, and he heard me from his holy mountain. I lay down and slept, I awoke, for the Lord will help me. I will not be afraid of ten thousands of people who have set themselves against me round about. Arise, O Lord, say to me, O my God, for you have struck on the cheek all who without cause are my enemies. You have broken the teeth of sinners, salvation is of the Lord, your blessing is upon your people. 
I lay down and slept, I awoke, for the Lord will help me. O Lord, rebuke me not in your wrath, nor chasten me in your anger, for your arrows have pierced me, and you have laid your hand heavily upon me. There is no health in my flesh because of your wrath, nor is there any rest in my bones because of my sins. For my iniquities have gone over my head like a weighty burden, they have pressed heavily upon me. My wounds are foul and festering because of my foolishness. I suffered and was utterly bowed down all the day long I walked in sadness. For my loins are filled with burning and there is no soundness in my flesh. I have been afflicted and humbled beyond measure. I cried out because of the affliction of my heart. O Lord, all my desire is before you and my sighing is not hidden from you. My heart is troubled, my strength fails me, and the light of my eyes has also gone from me. My friends and neighbors drew near to me and stood silently. My kinsmen stood afar off. Those who sought after my soul used violence. Those who sought my ruin spoke vain things and imagined deceits all the day long. But I, like a deaf man, did not hear like a dumb man who does not open his lips. I became like a man who does not hear, and in his mouth are no reproofs. For in you, O Lord, I have hoped you will hear me, O Lord my God. I said, Let not my enemies rejoice over me, for when my feet slip, they boasted against me. For I am ready for wounds, and my affliction is continually before me. For I will confess my iniquity, and my soul is afflicted because of my sins. But my enemies live and are mightier than I, and those who hate me wrongfully have multiplied. Those who rendered me evil for good slandered me because I followed after good. Do not forsake me, O Lord my God. Depart not from me. Attend to my help, O Lord of my salvation. Do not forsake me, O Lord my God. Depart not from me. Attend to my help, O Lord of my salvation. O God, my God, early in the morning I turn to you. My soul thirsts for you. How often my flesh longs for you as in a trackless desert land where no water is. So I have appeared before you in the sanctuary to see your power and glory. Because your mercy is better than life, my lips will praise you. Thus I will bless you while I live. I will lift up my hands in your name. My soul will be filled as with oil and fat, and my mouth will praise you with joyful lips. I remembered you upon my bed. I meditated mm -hmm. on you in the morning. For you have been my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will rejoice. My soul has cleaved to you. Your right hand upholds me. But those who sought my life in vain, they shall be delivered up to the sword. They shall be apportioned for foxes. But the king shall rejoice in God. Everyone who swears by him shall be praised. But the mouth of those who speak unrighteousness shall be stopped. I meditated on you in the morning, for you have been my helper, and in the shelter of your wings I will rejoice. My soul has cleaved to you, your right hand upholds me. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory be to you, O God. Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy, Lord of mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and then two ages of ages, amen. O Lord, God of my salvation, I have cried out today and night before you. Let my prayer come before you, and find your ear to my supplication. For my soul is full of troubles, and my life draws near to hell. I am counted with those who go down to the pit. I have become like a man without help, free among the dead. Like the slain who lie in the grave, who you remember no more, who are cut off from your hand. You have laid me in the lowest pit in darkness and in the shadow of death. Your wrath lies heavy upon me, and you have afflicted me with all your waves. You have put away my acquaintance as far from me. They regard me with horror. I was delivered up and have not come forth. My eyes are weakened from weeping. Lord, I have called daily upon you. I have stretched out my hands to you. Will you work wonders for the dead? Will the shades rise up and praise you? Who will tell of your mercy in the grave or your righteousness in the place of destruction? Will your wonders be known in the darkness and your truth in the land of forgetfulness? But to you I have cried out, O Lord, and in the morning my prayer comes before you. O Lord, why do you cast off my soul? Why do you turn away your face from me? I am poor and in distress from my youth. I was exalted and I was humiliated and brought very low. Your wrath passed over me, your terrors troubled me like water. They engulfed me all the day long, they overwhelmed me. You have put far away from me my friends, my neighbors, and my acquaintances because of my sufferings. O Lord, God of my salvation, I have cried out day and night before you. Let my prayer come before you, incline your ear to my supplication. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your iniquities, who heals all your diseases, who redeems your life from corruption, who crowns you with mercy and compassion, who satisfies your desire with good things, so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. The Lord works deeds of mercy and executes justice for all who are oppressed. He made known his ways to Moses, his will to the children of Israel. The Lord is compassionate and merciful, long-suffering and abundant in mercy. 
He will not always be angry, nor will he be at enmity with us forever. He has not dealt with us according to our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heavens are high above the earth, the Lord has confirmed his mercy on those who fear him. As far as the east is from the west, so far has he removed our transgression from us. As a father has compassion on his children, so the Lord is compassionate to those who fear him. For he knows wherever we are made, he remembers that we are dust. As for man, his days are like grass, like the flower of the field, so he blossoms. For when the wind passes over it, it is gone, and its place remembers it no more. But the mercy of the Lord is from everlasting to everlasting on those who fear him. And his righteousness to children's children, to those who keep his covenant and remember his commandments to do them. The Lord has prepared his throne in heaven, and his kingdom rules over all. Bless the Lord, all his angels, mighty in strength, who do his word, heeding the voice of his word. Bless the Lord, all his hosts, his ministers, who do his will. Bless the Lord, all his works, and all places of his dominion. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul. In all places of his dominion, bless the Lord, O oh my soul. Hear my prayer, O Lord. Give ear to my supplication in your faithfulness. Hear me in your righteousness. Enter not into judgment with your servant, for in your sight you know my living shall be justified. For the enemy has persecuted my soul. He has humbled my life to the ground. He has made me dwell in darkness like those who have long been dead. Therefore my spirit is overwhelmed within me. My heart within me is troubled. I remember the days of old. I meditated on all your works. I mused on the works of your hands. I spread out my hands to you. My soul longed to you like a thirsty land. Hear me speedily, O Lord. My spirit fails. Turn not your face from me, lest I be like those who go down into the pit. Make me to hear your mercy in the morning, for in you I have hoped. Make me to know, O Lord, the way in which I should walk, for I have lifted up my soul to you. Deliver me from my enemies, O Lord, for to you I have fled. Teach me to do your will, for you are my God. Your good spirit shall lead me in the land of righteousness. For your name's sake, O Lord, enlighten me in your righteousness. Bring my soul up out of tribulation. In your mercy cut off my enemies and destroy all those who afflict my soul, for I am your servant. Hear me in your righteousness, enter not into judgment with your servant. Hear me in your righteousness, enter not into judgment with your servant. Your good spirit shall lead me in the land of righteousness. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto two ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. In the fourth John, God is the Lord. God is the Lord, and has revealed himself to us. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His love is everlasting. What is the Lord and has revealed himself to us? Blessed is he that comes in the name of the Lord. All the nations encompass me, but in the name of the Lord have withstood them. What is the Lord and has revealed himself to us? In the name of the Lord. 
Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, Lord, have mercy, glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, and unto ages of ages, amen. The Lord said to my Lord, sit at my right hand, till I make your enemies your footstool. The Lord shall send the rod of your strength out of Zion, and rule in the midst of your enemies. So give us dominion in the day of your power, and the splendor of your saints. From the womb before the morning star have I begotten you. The Lord has sworn and will not repent. You are a priest forever, according to the order of Melchizedek. The Lord at your right hand shall dash in pieces kings in the day of his wrath. He shall judge among the nations. He shall fill the places with dead bodies. He shall crush the heads of many countries on the earth. He shall drink of the brook by the wayside. Therefore he shall lift up the head. I will praise the Lord. I will praise the Lord in my whole heart, in the assembly of the just and in the congregation. Great are the works of the Lord, conforming to his will in every way. His work is honorable and glorious, and his righteousness endures forever. He has made his wonderful works to be remembered. The Lord is merciful and compassionate. He has given food to those who fear him. He will be ever mindful of his covenant. He has shown his people the power of his works, that he may give them the heritage of the nations. The works of his hands are truth and justice. All his commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and are done in truth and uprightness. He sent redemption to his people. He has commanded his covenant forever. Holy and awesome is his name. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom and good understanding of all those who do his commandments. His praise endures forever. Blessed is the man who fears the Lord who greatly delights in his commandments. His descendants will be mighty on earth. The generation of the upright will be blessed. Glory and riches will be in his house, and his righteousness endures forever. Unto the upright there arises in the darkness. He is gracious and full of compassion and righteous. A good man shows favor and lends. He will guide his affairs with discretion. Surely he shall never be moved, but the righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. He shall never be afraid of evil tidings. His heart is fixed, trusting in the Lord. His heart is established, he shall not fear, until he sees his desire upon his enemies. He has dispersed, he has given to the poor. His righteousness endures forever, his horn shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it and be grieved, he shall gnash his teeth and melt away. The desire of the wicked shall perish. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever, now and to the ages of ages, amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy, Lord have mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, now and to the ages of ages. Amen. Come, O faithful, let us go to see where Christ was born. We shall follow the wise men, kings from the east, and be led by the guiding star to the place where angels sing unceasing praise, shepherds in the fields offer fitting hymns, glory in the highest to him who today was born of the Virgin Theotokos in a cave in Bethlehem of Judah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto the ages of ages. Amen.
He raises the poor from the dust and lifts the needy from the ash heap to make them sit with princes, with the princes of his people. He gives the barren woman a home, making her the joyous mother of children. Praise the Lord. When Israel went forth from Egypt, the house of Jacob from a people of strange language, Judah became his sanctuary, Israel his dominion. The sea looked and fled, Jordan turned back, the mountains skipped like rams, the hills like lambs. What ails you, O sea, that you flee, O Jordan, that you turn back? O mountains, that you skip like rams, O hills like lambs. Tremble, O earth, at the presence of the Lord, at the presence of the God of Jacob, who turns the rock into a pool of water, the flint into a spring of water. Not to us, O Lord, not to us, but to thy name give glory, for the sake of thy steadfast love and thy faithfulness. Why should the nations say, Where is their God? Our God is in the heavens, he does whatever he pleases. Their idols are silver and gold, the work of men's hands. They have mouths but do not speak, eyes but do not see. They have ears but do not hear, noses but do not smell. They have hands but do not feel, feet but do not walk, and they do not make a sound in their throat. Those who make them are like them, so are all who trust in them. O Israel, trust in the Lord, he is their help and their shield. O house of Aaron, put your trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. You who fear the Lord, trust in the Lord. He is their help and their shield. The Lord has been mindful of us. He will bless us. He will bless the house of Israel. He will bless the house of Aaron. He will bless those who fear the Lord, both small and great. May the Lord give you increase, you and your children. May you be blessed by the Lord who made heaven and earth. The heavens are the Lord's heavens, but the earth he has given to the sons of men. The dead do not praise the Lord, nor do any that go down into silence. But we will bless the Lord from this time forth and forevermore. Praise the Lord. I love the Lord because he has heard my voice and my supplications, because he inclined his ear to me. Therefore I will call on him as long as I live. The stairs of death encompassed me, the pangs of shale laid hold on me. I suffered distress and anguish. Then I called on the name of the Lord. O Lord, I beseech thee, save my life. Gracious is the Lord and righteous, our God is merciful. The Lord preserves the simple. When I was brought low, he saved me. Return, O my soul, to your rest, for the Lord has dealt bountifully with you. For thou hast delivered my soul from death, my eyes from tears, my feet from stumbling. I walk before the Lord in the land of the living. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and on to the ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. Glory to thee, O God. What a mercy, what a mercy, what a mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and unto the ages of ages. Amen. Why do you marvel, O Mary? Why are you amazed at what has come to pass? I have given birth in time to a timeless son. I cannot explain how he was conceived in me. I have known no man. How then shall I bear a child? Who has ever seen a birth without seed? When God so wills, as it is written, the order of nature is overcome. Christ is born of the Virgin in Bethlehem of the land of Judah. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever and on, to the ages of ages. Amen. Why do you marvel, O Mary? Why are you amazed at what has come to pass? I have given birth in time to a timeless son. I cannot explain how he was conceived in me. I have known no man, how then shall I bear a child, who has ever seen a birth without seed? When God so wills, as it is written, the order of nature is overcome. Christ is born of the Virgin in Bethlehem of Judah. What a mercy, what a mercy, what a mercy. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit. Now and ever and unto ages of ages, amen. I kept my faith even when I said I am greatly afflicted. I said in my consternation, men are all of vain hope. What shall I render to the Lord for all his bounty to me? I will lift up the cup of salvation and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. O Lord, I am thy servant, I am thy servant, the son of thy handmaid. Thou hast loosed my bonds. 
I will offer to thee the sacrifice of thanksgiving and call on the name of the Lord. I will pay my vows to the Lord in the presence of all his people, in the courts of the house of the Lord in the midst of Jerusalem. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, all nations. Extol him, all peoples. For great is his steadfast love toward us, and the faithfulness of the Lord endures forever. Praise the Lord. O oh, give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let Israel say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let the house of Aaron say, his steadfast love endures forever. Let those who fear the Lord say, his steadfast love endures forever. Out of my distress I called on the Lord. The Lord answered me and set me free. With the Lord on my side I do not fear. What can man do to me? The Lord is on my side to help me. I shall look in triumph on those who hate me. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better to take refuge in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. All nations surrounded me. In the name of the Lord I cut them off. They surrounded me, surrounded me on every side. In the name of the Lord I cut them off. They surrounded me like bees, they blazed like a fire of thorns. In the name of the Lord I cut them off. I was pushed hard so that I was falling, but the Lord helped me. The Lord is my strength and my song. He has become my salvation. Hark, blood, blood, songs of victory in the tents of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord does valiantly. I shall not die, but I shall live and recount the deeds of the Lord. The Lord has chastened me sorely, but he has not given me over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness, that I may enter through them and give thanks to the Lord. This is the gate of the Lord, the righteous shall enter through it. I thank thee that thou hast answered me and hast become my salvation. The stone which the builders rejected has become the head of the corner. This is the Lord's doing, and it is marvelous in our eyes. This is the day which the Lord has made, and let us rejoice and be glad in it. Save us, we beseech thee, O Lord. O Lord, we beseech thee, give us success. Blessed be he who enters in the name of the Lord. We bless you from the house of the Lord. The Lord is God, and he has given us light. Bind the festal procession with branches up, up to the horns of the altars. Thou art my God, and I will give thanks to thee. Thou art my God, I will extol thee. O give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his steadfast love endures forever. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Alleluia, 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 glory to thee, O God. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your great mercy, according to the multitude of your tender mercies, blot out my transgressions. Wash me thoroughly from my wickedness and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgression and my sin is ever before me. Against you only have I sinned and done this evil in your sight, that you might be justified in your sentence and vindicated when you are judged. For behold, I was conceived in iniquities, and in sins did my mother bear me. For behold, you have loved truth, the hidden and secret things of your wisdom you have revealed to me. Sprinkle me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness. My humble will shall rejoice. Turn your face away from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O God, and renew a right spirit within me. Cast me not away from your presence, and take not your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and uphold me with your governing spirit. Then I will teach transgressors your ways, and the ungodly shall turn back to you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O God, the God of my salvation, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Lord, open my lips, and my mouth shall declare your praise. For if you had desired sacrifice, I would have given it. With full burnt offerings, you will not be pleased. <coughs> sacrifice to God is a broken spirit, a broken and contrite heart from God you will not despise. Do good, O Lord, to Zion, in your good pleasure, and the walls of Jerusalem will be built. Then you will be pleased with the sacrifice of righteousness, with oblation and full burnt offerings. Then they shall offer you bulls on your altar. <coughs>
saw man perishing, whom he had made with his own hands, bowed the heavens and came down. And from the divine and pure virgin, he took all of man's substance, being made truly flesh. For he has been glorified. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. Wisdom and word and power. Christ our God is the Son and brightness of the Father, and unknown to the powers, both above and upon the earth. He was made man, and so he has won us back again. For he has been glorified. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. Finally foreshadowed by the burning bush that was not consumed, a hallowed womb was born, has borne the word. God is mingled with form, the form of mortal man, and so he looses the unhappy womb of Eve from the ancient bitter curse. Therefore we glorify him. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages ages. Amen. The stars showed plainly to the Magi the word that was before the Son, who has come to make transgression cease. They saw thee who shares all our sufferings, wrapped in swaddling clothes within a form of the head, and in joy they gazed upon thee, who are at once both man and man. Christ is born, give glory, Christ comes from heaven, go to meet him. Christ is upon earth, be exalted, sing to the Lord all the earth, and all you peoples praise the him with joy, for he has been glorified. <coughs> Father, 
word who rests in the bosom of the Father has come forth without seed from the Virgin. The wise men were struck with amazement, seeing him born as an infant in Bethlehem, but all creation glorified him. <laughs> Today is seen the light from the beacon on high. The sun offers to 
God the nations as his inheritance, bestowing grace past telling, we are sent once flourished more abundantly. As you are God.
cried out, sing praises, for Christ is born. Blessed art thou, God of our fathers. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. At the word of the angel, the hosts of heaven at once cry out, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to will towards men. Christ has shown forth, Blessed art thou, O God of our fathers. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. What are these tidings, said the shepherds? Let us go and see this thing which is coming to pass even Christ our God, and coming to Bethlehem, they worshipped with her, who had given him birth, as they cried out, Blessed art thou, O God of our Father. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. The sea that had roaring furnace, heated sevenfold, brought up the servants of the king in his fury, while it spared the children. For as the flame encircled them, the Lord, rewarding their good godliness, shed upon them abundant dew. Glory to thee, O God, glory to thee. Using thine ineffable incarnation as a shield, O Christ, our defender, thou hast put man's adversary to shame, taking man's form, and has granted him the joy of becoming divine. For it was in this of that we fell of all from on high into the dark depths of the earth. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of Raising its head in wanton pride, rage blasphemous, blasphemously in a world gone mad, and those who in times past it past in times past it dragged down, thus delivered to thee from its snares, taking flesh of thine own will and then back to the Father and to the Son of the Providence, 
has appeared as a man in God, destroyed the violent strength of the murderer of We praise, bless the worship of the Lord, sing and exalt him above all
the one to fall virgin, grant them the grace to worship Christ in his glory. Things and feathered birds, 
kings of the earth and all peoples, princes and all judges of the earth, young men and maidens, old men and children. Let them praise the name of the Lord, for his name alone is exalted. His glory is on earth and in heaven, and he has exalted the horn of his people. All the saints will praise him, you and children of Israel, people near to him. Sing to the Lord a new song, his praise in the congregation of the saints. Let Israel rejoice in him that made him. Let the sons of Zion rejoice in their king. Let them praise his name at the dance. Let them sing praises to him with timbrel and harp. For the Lord takes pleasure in his people, he will exalt the meek and save them. Let the saints be exalted in glory, they will rejoice in their beds. The praises of God shall be in their mouths, and two-edged swords in their hands. To execute vengeance on the nations and chastisement on the people. To bind their kings with fetters and their nobles with chains of iron. To execute on them the judgment that is written, such as the glory of all his saints. Praise God in his saints, praise him in the firmament of his power. Praise him for his mighty act, praise him according to his infinite greatness.
Save us, have mercy upon us, and keep us, O God, by thy grace. Lord, 
But Jesus answered and said to them, I also will ask you one question, then answer me, and I will tell you by what authority I do these things. The baptism of John, was it from heaven or from men? Answer me. And they reason among themselves, saying, If we say from heaven, he will say, Why then do you not believe him? If we say from men, they feared the people, for all counted John to have been a prophet indeed. So they answered and said to Jesus, We do not know. And Jesus answered and said to them, Neither will I tell you by what authority I do these Besides the aspect of God's love in the Feast of the Nativity, to better understand this mystery of the Incarnation, the Fathers of the Church want us and always warn us that we should, un we should possess that humility in order to decipher this great mystery of the incarnation of God, of God becoming man. Humility, in fact, is the key to understand it. Because God himself showed us what true humility is in the fact that he became a little one. He became man from eternity being God. He incarnated as human being, fully God, became a perfect man. But not even that, he became a little human being, a baby, humbling himself in such a way that in his incarnation he gathered the whole humanity from beginning to the end. So then, what is humility if we are to actually inquire how to understand the mystery of the Incarnation with this key, the humility? Humility is becoming a little one for the love of others, becoming a little one because we love others. God became a little one in a forgotten, isolated, separated, dark, somber cave. 
Through that he gathered humanity to himself, the heavenly hosts, the shepherds, the magis, the stars came and bore witness to his great humility and love for us. We have the same chance to do the same, serving others through our love, with our compassion, gathering community and spreading and proclaiming God's love through our actions. So becoming a little servant for our brothers and sisters because not because we want to show anything, but simply because we love them. Just as God became a little one, a babe, a human being for us because he loved us, to give us this importance that we are created in his image and likeness and that we are to be with him until the end of the age. Amen. <laughs>
so that with us they may also glorify your most honorable and majestic name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit, now and ever to the ages of ages. Amen. Those who are catechumens depart, catechumens depart, all those who are catechumens depart, but none of the catechumens remain. Again and again in peace, let us the faithful pray to the Lord.
You brought us from our existence into existence, and when we fell, you again raised us up to heaven, and bestowed on us your kingdom which is to come. For all this we thank you in your only begotten Son and your Holy Spirit, for all which we know and which we do not know, for your benefits manifested and concealed, which have been done for us. We thank you for this liturgical service which you deign to accept from our hands. Though before you spent thousands of archangels and tens of thousands of angels, the many eyed cherubim and the six winged seraphim who will fly soar high. Singing the triumphant king, shouting aloud, crying out, and proclaiming.
changing them by your Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So that for those who partake of them, they may be for the awakening of the soul, for forgiveness of sins, for comfort, communion with the Holy Spirit, for fulfillment of the kingdom of heaven, for confidence towards you, but neither to judge nor to condemnation. Again, we offer the spiritual sacrifice for those fallen asleep in the faith, forefathers, fathers, patriarchs, prophets, apostles, preachers, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, ascetics, and by every righteous spirit made perfect in faith. Especially for our most holy pure, most blessed, worshiping of God and ever Virgin Mary. Thank you. 
not judgment or condemnation. And grant us, Master, with boldness and without condemnation, to call you the heavenly God Father, and to Amen. Abide 
Eucharistical Supper, O Son of God, accept me today as a communicant, for I will not speak of thy mystery to thy enemies. Neither like Judas will I give thee a kiss, but like the thief will I confess thee. Remember me, O Lord, in thy kingdom. May the communion of thy holy mysteries be neither to my judgment, nor to my condemnation, O Lord, but to the healing of my soul and body.
Christ has shone forth. Blessed art thou, O God, our fathers. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. The shepherds abiding in the fields were terrified by dazzling light. Around them shone the glory of the Lord, an angel shouted to them, sing praises, the Messiah is born. Glory to thee, our God, glory to thee. Where is this, asked the shepherds? Has God's Messiah truly come? Let us go to Bethlehem. They saw thee there and worshiped thee. With thy mother singing, blessed art thou, God of our fathers.
to the intercession of his most holy and dear mother, to the prayers of the holy and all venerable apostles, for the prayers of the holy hierarch of John Chrysostom, whose liturgy we celebrated this morning, and to the prayers of the venerable Mother Melania and of those with her whose memory keep this day, and for the prayers of the holy ancestors of God, Joachim and Anna, and of all the saints, may he have mercy on us and save us, for he is good and the lover of mankind. Amen. 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 Amen.
or choir director uh, of the Serafina's uh, fourth anniversary for Tonsuri today. Many years, I'm going to sing a, a, a carol for her. <laughs> <laughs>
O Master Christ, our God, King of the ages, maker of all things, I thank thee for all the good things thou hast given me, especially for the communion with thy most pure and life-creating mysteries. I pray thee, O gracious lover of man, preserve me under thy protection, beneath the shadow of thy wings, enable me even to my last breath to partake worthily and with a pure conscience of thy holy things, for the remission of sins and unto life eternal. For thou art the bread of life, the fountain of holiness, the giver of all good. To thee we ascribe glory with the Father and the Holy Spirit, now and ever, and unto ages of ages. Amen. Freely thou hast given me thy body for my food, O thou who art to fire, consuming the unworthy. Consume me not, O my Creator. But instead, enter into my members, my veins, my heart. Consume the thorns of my transgressions. Cleanse my soul and sanctify my reasonings. Make firm my knees and body. Illumine my five senses. Nail me to the fear of thee. Always protect, guard, and keep me from soul-destroying words and deeds. Cleanse me, purify me, and adorn me. Give me understanding and illumination. Show me to be a temple of thy one spirit, and not the home of many sins. May every evil thing, every carnal passion, flee from me as from a fire, as I become the tabernacle through communion. I offer thee as intercessors all the saints, the leaders of the bodiless hosts, thy forerunner, the wise apostles, and thy pure and blameless mother, accept their prayers in thy love, O my Christ, and make me thy servant, a child of light, for thou art the only sanctification and light of our souls. O good one, and to thee, our Master and God, we ascribe glory day by day. O Lord Jesus Christ, our God, let thy holy body be my eternal life, thy precious blood, my remission of sins. Let this Eucharist be my joy, health, and gladness. Make me a sinner worthy to stand on the right hand of thy glory at thy, thine awesome second coming, through the prayers of thy most dear mother and of all the saints. O most holy Lady Theotokos, the light of my darkened soul, my hope, my protection, my refuge, my rest, and my joy. I thank you for you have permitted me to be unworthy to be a partaker of the most pure body and most precious blood of your Son. Give the light of understanding to the eyes of my heart. You that gave birth to the true light, enlighten me who am deadened by sin. You that gave birth to the fountain of immortality, have mercy on me, a loving mother of the merciful God. Grant me compunction and contrition of heart, humility in my thoughts, and a release from the slavery of my own reasonings, and enable me, even to my last breath, to receive the sanctification of the most pure mysteries, for the healing of soul and body. Grant me tears of repentance and confession, that I may glorify you all the days of my life, for you are blessed and greatly glorified forever. Amen. Lord, now let your servant depart in peace according to your word. For my eyes have seen your salvation.